Well, this is Joe McGee. Welcome to our podcast. Make sure that you subscribe and please share the podcast with your friends. That is the number one way you can help us reach people with God's love and healing. We love you guys. Hope you enjoy the podcast. Hey, everybody, it's Joe and Angel. Welcome to another Mailbag Monday, where Angel and I take time and answer questions that you mailed in, texted in, and sent in. We've got a good stack, so let's jump in, Angel. All right. My husband told me that he wants a divorce, but I want to save our marriage. Marriage for me is forever. If divorce seemed like an option, then I would have never said yes in the first place. Should I go through with the divorce and give him what he wants or fight for what I believe in? Well, I would defer to you to start off with because you've been through this. I have been through it, and I tried very hard to hold on to it and save my marriage. Uh, But he'd already made up his mind, and I couldn't override his will. So at some point... You know, it was just touch and go for a couple of years. And then at some point, I remember I said to him, you know, I don't think that it's that you don't like being married. I just don't think it's me that you want to be married to anymore. So if this is what you want, you got it. But if you start it, I will finish it. I'm not going to play games with this. No. And so we did. 90 days later, we were divorced. And <clears throat> after 23 years of marriage... It was very emotional, very difficult, and I had to go through a whole lot. To, it was not something I would wish on anybody. Nope. If you can save it, I would save it. But if he's made up his mind and he's just bent on going that way. Well, the Bible <laughs> says, can two walk together unless they're agreed? Mm-hmm. So if he wants out, uh, I don't know him. Uh, I'd always defer to you. Always talk to your pastor or talk to a good Christian counselor or something. Get somebody involved because there may be something he just doesn't see, doesn't realize. Uh, men, uh, if men are wanting out, they've got something else on the hook. Let me tell you, I, I know a young man who's a, never been so impressed with a man like this. He 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 was on staff at a church, and uh, his family was well-known in our town. And... Young married, they didn't have children yet, and uh, suddenly it comes out that his wife had had an affair, and uh, he paid her money so that she could live the lifestyle. He loved her, loved her, and I want to tell you something. It took several months, but he loved her back to Jesus, and they have a wonderful marriage. Two kids now. Great family. And it's just a miraculous thing of what love can do. Yes. But if you make that kind of decision that you're going to walk in love like that, that's not an easy decision to make. No. But if you'll be loving and not play games, the divorce games, which those are the worst, and they hurt nobody more than it hurts children. So don't do that. But if you're going to do like him, he never said a bad word about her. He stood strong. He didn't hide from it. He was honest about it. He'd talk about it. And, uh, you know, it took her a while because, you know, when someone's being deceived, it's like a, yeah. it's like a cloak comes on them. and it, They're it, blind it, as a bat. Some people say, what happened? They're blinded. They're and, blinded and, by and, the devil. And it took a little while, but you know what? It was beautiful to see that restoration. I would have never, if you'd have told me when I first saw this, that this is how it was going to end, I would have never believed it, but mm-hmm. I'm proud of him. Yeah. And he, t- he had more love in him than you know, yeah, buddy. and he did it. He did the true love walk. And they are deeply in love today. They are. So it can happen. Yes. But, um, you know, either choice when someone's going through something like that is not necessarily the easiest choice, but listen, if you're going to error, error on the side of love, Yeah. if nothing else, you will show your children what an example of love is. Yeah. It, it, especially kids. Well, listen, I went the second, third mile. I did. I got the tech. I got the, Paperwork to prove it. I tried to save it, but they're going to stay stupid. No, especially if, if usually if a man wants out, nine nine percent of the time if he wants out, he's got something else on the hook. Men are just that way, and it's like there's something else going on, um, and that's that's that take much to make a man happy. When divorce happens, the men are the quickest to get remarried because they don't like being alone. Women can go be single for a long time because they're tougher mentally, mostly spiritually. Men are not. Men, they get out of one race, they want another one. So and That's true. I mean, my ex-husband married very quickly. I didn't marry for 
or even date for 12 years. Yep. So, you know, it's, it's, uh, and he got married twice. He was married three times. Yes, he's been married three times. This last one is very nice. Very nice. <laughs> she's, she's very nice to my kids. Well, she's, he he married a very good woman. He did. He did. Yeah, so so I'm very happy. Everybody, we finally have peace. Oof, that took a lot to get to, though. <laughs> I remember, just as a side note, I remember I realized later on that my mother always had drama in her life. And it was always chaotic and stressful. And so then I married what I knew. Yep. The drama, the drama, the drama, the drama. So when I divorced, I just said, I'm not going to live like this anymore. I'm going to have peace in my home. And if there's nothing I'm more proud of than that, I have peace in my home. I will not. You know, you ever go to somebody's house and you walk in and you're like, ooh. Eggshells. Somebody, somebody, somebody's having a fight. Right before I get in here. So, no, no, I want my home to be welcoming and warm yeah. and uh, peaceful. So, yes. yeah, but sometimes you, you continue a pattern. You don't even realize it because I didn't know any different. So, but yeah. now I do. Well, people comment all the time about, you know, how did you get so lucky you marry somebody so nice, ain't you not? I said, well, we're really not that nice. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm pretty nice. <laughs> well, and we're very opinionated, but we made a choice. What are you going to do? I'm going to get married. I'm going to love this person. I'm going to defer to this person. I like being married. I like being married to Angel. And it's like, she's a jewel. Like, well, no wonder you got lucky. No, there's no such thing as luck. There's the God, the devil, and we're in between like an Oreo cookie. So every day we get to choose. You get to choose to walk in love every day. Every day is not a happy day, but you got to, the joy of the Lord is my strength. This is going to be the best day ever. You got to make your mind up going in every day. You can't wait for it to happen. You got to make it happen. It's going to be a great marriage. We're going to suck lips off each other's face. Yes, we are. <laughs> hey, Joe, I'm not sure you didn't write this question that's coming up. My wife must be addicted to Amazon. Oh, Lord. Every day, new, every day, new packages are coming in the mail that I know nothing about. Yeah. We're trying to save for a home, but it seems like she deals with this stress by buying more. This is making things worse. Yep. I think I wrote that. Did I write that? <laughs> Feels like you might have. Well, we never shop. I do not like to shop. We hate shopping. I hate shopping. So we get some, we buy. And uh, Angel's brilliant at getting things online. Uh, everything we've ever bought, I think, in this house, we we bought a lot. Not everything. Not well, everything. pretty much. And so, and it's almost, it is weekly. that There's a box outside the front door. Last night we came home, there was a box outside the back door. And so, uh, so Angel's a very smart shopper. So uh, uh, I'm never questioning what she got. And about half the time she'll get something. She says, no, it's not what I thought. I'm going to send it back. And she's a master of sending it back. And so she's, we don't have junk stuff sitting around our house, but we have stuff that we use. And so my suggestion to you is get her a budget and say, this is your Amazon budget for the month. It cannot exceed this amount. Yeah. You got to have a number somewhere yeah. because there can be extremes where, you know, you're just scratching an itch that can never be scratched. And a stress, I, I could do some stress shopping. Today, yeah, buddy. But I think you should just definitely put a cap on it. Yeah. Then she'll be more careful what she puts in those boxes. Yes. And uh, just, and there's always, it always helps when you know there's somebody else is aware of what you're doing. And they're not yelling, you're not judging, you're not complaining. You just, I'm aware, you know, what you do? Well, you just bought half a truckload of some stuff I don't think we need, but uh, got to set a budget. You know, there's only so much money. Every family's just got so much money. And, you know, we are the most indebted nation on this planet. 97% of all American families have no working budget. They don't know how much they own, how much they earn, where it goes. That's why we're so in debt in America. Why? We don't pay attention to the details. But if you don't pay attention to the details, God will bless you. He really will. So God's a God of stewardship. So where we live, there are two 1 million square foot Amazon fulfillment centers. Oh, huge. On each side of our town. Yeah. There's one of each. And, uh, uh, they now have opened a little store of people that send stuff back yeah. and you can go in and get it. And I'm driving by this building the other day and, and I, I, 
look like a starting can. And people are park in there. a huge line. And I'm like, what are they doing over there? Boy, you better believe I went home and figured that out. <laughs> so uh, next, uh, ne- next week, I'm going to go try that out. So, but the, And the point of that, there's so much you can share here. If you got to shop, at least shop smart. And that is true. So you see these wacky commercials? I bought this $300 thing for $1.95. Those things actually happen, but you got to know what you're looking for. You got to know the actual value. And so you got to be a smart shopper, not an emotional shopper. You know, I don't mind smart shopping, but most shopping, that'll, that'll, that'll bite your backside. <laughs> I'm excited to go to this because they put little surprises in some of the bins. <laughs> and like you get like, say you got a bin and you find this envelope. I don't know what the envelope says, if it's cash or if it's just you get more money off or what. But I see them talking about it, and I'm kind of excited to go. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll have a smackdown in the Amazon. <laughs> it's, the old, it's the old Cracker Jack box. What did I get in this one? <laughs> I'll keep you posted on how that ends up. How, did I, how do I tell the truth in love without hurting my spouse? My husband has some things I think he needs to work on physically, emotionally, and financially. He thinks every time I point something out, that is an attack. This makes me just want to be quiet. Yeah, that's pretty much typical. Uh, most men hate to be corrected because as a young man, uh, it's typical, same for everybody. When I grew up, I went to elementary school. We didn't have kindergarten. They, they hadn't invented it in my part of the state yet. So you go to elementary school. I've been, I was the oldest, you know, I got a very young sister. So I don't have any other brother or sister. So I go to school. I've been by myself playing in the country, playing with cousins. I've never been in a school room. And all of a sudden I realized there's competition. There was reading level A, B, and C. Well, I'm in the C reading group. I don't know that means I'm stupid, but I miss you realize I'm in the stupid (laughs) reading group. (laughs) And I realized, oh, my goodness. And people would make fun of you in class. And and I wasn't the best speller. And I'm in the back of the spelling lines. like, And I realized, Man, I'm stupid. No, I'm not. I'm just different. I learned different. I said, eventually I became an engineer, but in the beginning, like, oh man, I'm just trying to survive. And so you become a show off. You try to out yell, out hit, out climb, out crawl, out run. You're trying to find where can I get to the head of the food chain? And so most men grow up not realizing that they're still trying to outdo everybody. And so they don't like looking stupid. So they'll avoid stupidity at all costs. That's why they won't engage in conversation because somewhere in this, I might look stupid. They won't go there. They won't talk about it. And so you got to learn how to open that can up carefully, but it's got to be open. How would you suggest they handle this? I have tried to change people my whole life. I've tried to change my children, my spouse. It, it, I've, Come to the conclusion. Yes, here's a revelation. The only thing I can work on is me. That is it. Bingo. And I'll Bingo. try to make the better me. Yeah. And hopefully that will make that those will. around me want to be. Well, you're better trying better. to provoke the others to jealousy. When you realize I'm not working on you, I'm working on me, and I'm getting so much better and so much better and so much better. And eventually they'll they'll ask you about the hope that's in you. What are you doing? Well, I realize you aren't growing, but I'm gonna go ahead and grow. I may leave you behind, but I'm not going to sit still and hold your little thumb sucking hand forever. So I'm going to get on my life and hopefully that provokes some good works. And it is biblical to do that, provoke them to good works. So there you have it. Yeah. When in doubt, love works. Love works. Work on you. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, we love you so much. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to spend with us. Uh, if you have questions, please feel free to send them in. If you need some support, we have got lots of uh, books and, and yes. uh, teaching yes. on our website, jimmyd.com. Yes. But we look forward to seeing you next week. God bless, guys. Be sure to join us Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to hear more of what God can do in your life. It's got a great future for you and your family. And we're here to help you get there. Please make sure you visit Joe McGee Ministries on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. There you find all of our Friday funny videos and other encouraging resources for you and your family. While you're at it, be sure to visit JoeMcGee.com. We have all sorts of materials, books, DVDs, you name it, all there to help you, your marriage, and your family succeed.